guys, this is Michelle at My Everyday Way with Life and I got my daily chores done so I'm ready to start cleaning in zone 2. And it is Thursday, not Wednesday, and this is a work in progress. I'm going to do the dining room, the entryway, the laundry room, and the library. And I got my water, so let's get started. So, um, yeah, look at all this stuff that wasn't, it's half, not half empty, empty bottles. Why am I saving them? I don't need them. And then these don't really need to go in my, um, cleaning cart. So I'm, this is bathroom cleaner. I'm going to put them one in each bathroom. And then actually, I don't know, it might go in the laundry room because I don't have any disinfectant spray anymore. So I've been kind of using that you know, for COVID, <laughs> what it purpose is. So, I don't know, spraying down the, I don't know, stuff. And then this is toilet bowl cleaner. So, anyway, I, and those are dirty and whatever. So, I cleaned that all up. So, what do I keep in my cleaning cart? So, this is my cleaning cart I've showed before. And it's from Target. Now, Ikea and Michael sell the um, same thing. Well, but it's just a little different style. I happen to like the um, Target style. I actually have one of these in my craft room and hubby has two in his rooms. Anyway, <laughs> we kind of like them. And, um, you know, sometimes he does hobbies out on the um, porch, so he'll drag his cart out on the porch. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. So on the bottom, I have um, an extra mop head and a duster. And I do have another duster. I'm not sure where that is. And then I have washing instructions of my maker's cleaning cloth of what to, how to wash them. <laughs> anyway, I keep that. And then I have uh, Windex electronic wipes. And then these are the Quickie uh, microfiber cloths. Now I do have the other ones, but I use this for general purpose of wiping down surfaces. Um, they are really good. I have bought cheap ones before. And they are they don't work so good. I think I might be a couple of those mixed in. Anyway, you can get um them. I'll put the link down below. I think I got mine at Home Depot. I can't find the yellow ones anymore. They only have blue. Um, I don't know, they just work really good. They're really large and whatever. So and then of course I have all of my lint brushes here and extra cloth. And this is the maker's plush cleaning cloth. I've actually not used it. <laughs> for anything I don't know I'm kind of was like saving each one of my claws um for this is high quality cleaning cloths look at how plush that is I guess I could use that for dusting too I don't know there are specific things that some of them are used for um so I don't know. you have to go to the website and and see what they are. They are expensive, but I really do like them and I don't use them for general purpose. Um, Melissa and Chad sent me, if you clean my space, they own, that's their website, clean my space. I'm sure you guys have seen their videos. So they sent me that a long time ago, a package of cleaning cloths, uh, free for a review. So there's that. So I have my wood cleaner here. So these are all my wood cleaners and you guys know I like the seventh generation, but I do like, the method um, wood polish, which I don't polish the wood all the time. So basic cleaning, I'm using this, and then there's a little bit left in here. I guess I could pour it in there. And then this is the cloth that I use for polishing the wood with, because I don't want to get um, different cleaners on the same cloth, so I don't know. So I'm using that for wood. And then this cloth I'm using for the, um, Stainless steel. And then this is the method stainless steel cleaner. I don't think seventh generation has one and I don't use it a lot. So when I find something better, I'll find something, I will use that. So, and then there's my um, Mrs. Myers room refresher, which I need to find a substitute for that, but I'm gonna use the rest of that up. And I don't, I ran out of um, seventh generation um, Windex. 
um, glass cleaner. So I had this on hand, I'm using that. And this is specifically for glass. It's a different, it's not the plush one, it's smooth. But I don't really like using it. <laughs> I have it here, I don't really like using it. I'd rather just use paper towels, especially if I'm doing the outside of the windows, they're going to get filthy. So like on the patio and stuff. I mean, obviously the other windows I do on the outside, I use a hose and all that kind of stuff. And then I have um, toothbrush for, you know, getting in the crevices, touch up marker and a garbage bag to replace in the, um, the garbage. <laughs> you get that? So that's my cleaning cart. So I gotta clean up this mess and then get started. I'm gonna start in the dining room. Okay, first I'm going to declutter. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put those dishes away. That stool needs to be to put away and that's where I'm gonna start. Okay guys, I've been covering the cat beds because this is just so hard to clean and this is so much easier. I mean, I do change the, um, it's just a pillowcase, pillowcase every once in a while and that way you don't have to wash the whole bed and stuff. Anyways, it's just too hard to clean. So the cat hair comes off so much easier off, off the smooth um, pillowcase and then once in a while I will um, launder it, <laughs> brain fog. Anyway, and I'm gonna lint brush this too, so. I just lightly dusted that it did, it didn't need it I did it recently when I did the tablescape it doesn't get that dusty in here the bedroom gets really dusty because you spend most of your time in there that's why so I just lightly dusted it um you know I do um polishing once a month or at once every other month so I'm just gonna continue to dust everything really lightly So I did just spring clean this room recently. So if you want to see that video, I'll do it. So it was deep cleaning, spring deep cleaning. So it didn't really need it that much. So, oh, I need to do that, dust that. I do see some dust bunnies up there. Um, Do I want to take that down and wash it? No, no, no. I do need to vacuum. So there's that.
too. Sometimes it'll get too wet where I will use a wet one and a dry one. So, yeah. So, but I did out window and other stuff with one paper towel. It holds up. See how it's not tore up or anything? It's really, they're extra strong. I recommend them highly. Link down below. <laughs> okay, so I'm not doing the curtains this week. Maybe next week. Or that might be a spring cleaning video where I go around the house to do all the curtains. That's pretty exhausting, though. That means getting up and down the ladder, taking everything down, and putting everything back up. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I'll just do one curtain at a time per room each week. Something like okay, that. Okay, done with that room. I'm not going to vacuum right now. I'll just wait till I um, vacuum that carpet and do it all at one time. So, next room is this room. Sometimes I'll wash that carpet, but it, I don't... I think I did it recently, so it doesn't need it. So declutter. So I need to fix this. This was hanging up there, but it broke. My front door needs clean, needs repainted, but that's the outside. We're talking about inside. The door is open today because it's nice out. So I need to rehang that and find, and these need to go back where they belong. I washed them and then just never put them back where they belong. So I need to do that. So I'm gonna use that blanket for this chair. I'll fix it. And then this is gonna go in the living room. Okay. Back here for garbage so I don't have to go back and forth to the garbage can. I do. I do know why I didn't think of that before. No. Uh -oh. drink my water and so um obviously what I'm trying to do is get to the point where I'll have to deep clean so this room is deep clean too except for the curtain and dusted behind there but I'm not doing that today I'm gonna need hubby's help to move those and everything so everything got dusted so there's not a whole lot to do in here I'll just go with the feather duster and quickly do it but I don't need to polish everything because I already did that the outside of the window needs done but that's when I do the patio, so I don't, I just need to vacuum in here, really. Chewy too, just to get the spots that I missed, like under there and stuff. So, um, sometimes I'll move the furniture, but I already did that. And this was steam clean just what last week and stuff. But what I want to say is, sometimes I think we're in a hurry and um, we don't take the time to, myself included, very much so, we don't take the time to vacuum correctly I think you need to go really slow and go over the spot two or three times there's more dirt in there than you think I mean try it one time empty your vacuum cleaner and then and start in one room and then see how much crap you get out of there and guaranteed this my carpet's old I've said that before so but since I lived in this house I probably wasn't why am I just learning this now I didn't know <laughs> Because I'm seeing how dirty the carpet is. So, um, when I clean it, how much nice? Well, a lot of times it's cat hair and stuff, but 
No matter how much you vacuum, you still pull up cat hair each time. You think you're done, but... So it looks clean when you vacuum, but you're not getting up all the dirt. So it's important, I think, to spend more time vacuuming more diligently. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm trying. Chewie's doing his job onto this room. So I got a vacuum. I had to clean this first. So. so this also got deep cleaned, but you know, it's a catch all. So groceries because we have them in the garage and then transfer them in here, yada, yada, yada. So it's kind of hard to film though. I'll try my best to do that. So I need to put the groceries away. I got um a new pair of bike shorts let's just call them yoga shorts okay they're the dance skins because all i've been doing is wearing loungewear and a new t-shirt so and coffee and sunscreen did that did i buy another thing of sunscreen did i mean to do that and then i bought some um shampoo for the cats i'm gonna maybe try to give them a bath i'm gonna put the water away put that away yeah Got my laundry detergent. If you didn't see that on Instagram, you're missing it. You're missing epic, riveting <laughs> content. So we were delivered this um, laundry soap um, from Target with no top on it. Thankfully, they wrapped it in a bag and it didn't leak too much. It leaked a little bit. But how do you package something up? There was no package. Did it fall in? I, I see something in there. Oh, it got like punched in. That's weird. How did it fell? I don't know. That's weird. I don't know how you, how that happened exactly. So they sent me a new one as a replacement and I got to put all that away and yeah, let's finish this up. I'm done. I mean, I'm not done. I need to vacuum, clean this laundry room and then mop. I'm not going to deep clean. It just needs straightened. I deep cleaned it. If you want to see that video, I'll put the link down below. <laughs> the dining room, the, I think I did a catch-all one, which included the library and then the, I'll just put a link down below to the playlist. How about that? If you have not seen that vid video series. So it was like five videos in March that I did spring cleaning. And guys, it's still spring. So I got some more spring cleaning to do eventually. Yes, I still need to clean my kitchen. But that, it's not that bad. It'll get clean tonight when I do dinner. So, I feel like that took too long. That was two hours and 15 minutes. Yesterday, or not yesterday, when I did zone one, that was Tuesday. Um, I didn't exactly time it. And, you know, I take a break and I sat down for a little bit to edit the video and all that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. It. I think it was three hours, but that is the hardest part of the house, I guess. 
so I don't know. <laughs> Again, this is trial and error. We'll keep figuring it out. And plus, you know, I don't have, I don't know. I'm almost 56. That's the other thing too. So I'm going to be pooped afterwards. So I'm pooped anyway, but I want to keep up on the house so I don't have to, uh, deep clean anymore. But the house got out of hand last year because I was down and out. Anyhow, moving on. So I vacuumed. I dusted. Not everything. Light dusting. I decluttered. There was only a few things. And I put that stuff, uh, the dishes away. Because, you know, it's not Easter anymore. Um, and the extra was I windexed the slider. So the entryway I vacuumed. I dusted. I mopped. I decluttered the the um blankets and in the library i vacuum i dusted um there wasn't anything to declutter in there was there and the extra the extra was i took down i don't know if you saw that i think it was off camera a little bit i took down the um scarf the window scarf and it's in the washing machine i have it on a delicate load and i'll maybe get hubby to help me put that back up later and the laundry room you know that always needs done so i straightened it i vacuumed i didn't dust i wiped stuff down that consider dusting sure <laughs> i decluttered it and i mopped and i didn't really do anything extra in there today i don't know what that extra would be in there to tell you the truth i just recently deep cleaned that so it's pretty good Again, watch that video. I will put the list of um, my spring cleaning. And I do just plan on doing some more spring cleaning. I've been working on the front porch. <laughs> spring cleaning the front porch, yeah, for the last couple weeks. Just can't seem to finish it. Oh, there's one more thing. This is the essential oils that I've been putting in my mop water. Just vinegar, water, a little bit of soap, and the essential oils. And I'm really, I'm, I'm really liking it. I didn't like to use vinegar. I'm using it for everything now. You know, it takes time to get used to things. And like buying the seventh generation, it took time to get used to that. And I'm happy that I'm using natural stuff. So this brand, I don't know how good a brand that is. But there is somebody, a few people mentioned in a couple of videos a while back ago that they wouldn't use their expensive, um, I think I put essential oils and some baking soda and sprinkled it on the carpet. And they said they wouldn't use their expensive doTERRA essential oils for something like that. Well, neither would I. I don't buy doTERRA. I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I don't, <laughs> it's expensive. doTERRA, Young Living, that's expensive. I have looked into Eden Oils. And then what's the other one? Eden Oils is not certified, but it is organic or something like that. I don't know, look it up. <laughs> you know, I'm not the authority. So this does say 100% pure, but you know, I don't know. It's definitely cheaper than all those other ones. And if you're just using it for your mop water, I don't think it's a big deal, right? You're not putting it on your skin. You're not ingesting it. And I don't think this is the ingestible kind of essential oils. I believe doTERRA and Young Living, you can actually put it in your drink or something like that. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, I will put the link down below. It's pretty good, and I, you know, I have lots of essential oils and stuff for those purposes for um, the diffuser. I don't know. If you have a recommendation of a cheaper, good quality, not doTERRA, not Young Living, um, again, I want to look into Eden Oils. And what's the one that Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home uses? I don't recall. If I can remember, I'll put it on the screen. But she uses a different brand. And, and um, it's pretty good quality. Anyhow, I'm done. And I'm tired and I'm pooped. And I'm going to sit down and edit this for you. And finish drinking my water and go get something for lunch. Alright, guys. That's it. And I guess tomorrow. <laughs> Again, it's not Wednesday. Again, this is a work in progress. Trying it out. Seeing how it works. And, um, I'm not, this is not daily chores. This is a weekly good clean. And maybe if I do a good enough clean, I won't have to do it every week. I can just vacuum and mop. And then, I, I don't really feel like I need to dust every week, honestly. Except for the bedroom. Anyway, so tomorrow would be the kitchen, which gets done every day. 
and the family room gets done every day, but I'm gonna be doing extra stuff. Like the family room I know needs dusted. The kitchen, I probably do a little bit of decluttering because I shoved some things in some places and didn't put it back correctly. And definitely a guest bathroom needs cleaned. And eventually I'll work in the guest room. I talked about that in the other video. I'll work in the guest room, but right now that's a project. Catherine's a project. So, um, I don't know. I don't know, I, can, I don't think two hours is bad. Three times a week, two hours. Yes, the zone one was three hours. But again, I took breaks and I was filming, moving the camera around, that takes a lot. So, I don't know, I'd have to try it out when I'm not filming and let you all know how long each zone takes. I think two hours is not a big deal. Three times a week, really. And you have the rest of the day to do whatever you want. Maybe. <laughs> There's still laundry. You gotta make the bed and cook dinner. And, yeah, cook, clean, repeat. Anyway, that's it for this video. Until next time, guys. Enjoy your day. Behind the scenes. And here's behind the scenes because, honestly, the kitchen and the family room gets vacuumed every day because that's the most the place we spend the most time in. And I just been here all day on my bare feet every day 24 7 and i don't want crumbs under my feet this thing is making me be a germaphobe and the garbage needs to have clean put out and yeah and i didn't dump the mop water because i'm going probably mop in here i've been mopping in here like every other day just because yeah i'm crazy